What is up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we're again here at Garage Porch and today we have a special video. First time ever, I, I've never seen it done but that's because I never looked for it online either but we're actually gonna do a full titanium exhaust on the S8. And this is actually insane. Just looking at this full titanium exhaust, this is a company out of somewhere in Europe. Not too many people here in the US have their exhaust system yet but look at this, holy banana. So. We're gonna install this thing on the S8 Audi, which is pretty insane. Yeah, VVS. Never heard of them before, but kind of interesting. Interested to see what exactly the car is gonna sound like, because the car already sounds pretty good. But of course, since it's like a, it's a big, uh, it's a big sedan, kind of like your S Class or 7 Series. It's pretty. It's really quiet. But this is a valve, ti full titanium valve exhaust. I think the cats are still gonna stay. Yeah, the cats are still gonna stay. Then X pipe right there. The tips look phenomenal. And let's go outside and check out the car. And then today we also brought the GT4. So tomorrow we're gonna go on a we're gonna go on a drive. Yeah, we have the GT4 in for. We're gonna do oil change today. So uh, might do a quick video on that once we do it. But let's go over here and check out the S8. We are, we have the Audi S8. So I did a video on this, never really uploaded it. We went on an Audi drive with this thing. And uh, this thing is just phenomenal. It's a huge tank. One of their customers here at Garage Horse just put, uh, I think he, he swapped out the resonators on his car. And it, sound, it sounds pretty poppy now, which is pretty sick. But yeah, the, the length of this thing is just insane. So we have an RS5 behind it and that thing just gets lost in the sauce. I think they're parked pretty much the same. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's utterly insane. Well, not bad. Yeah, look, it's literally parked almost the same here in the, in the back, but this car just goes on for like another foot. Yeah, so you just caught a sound clip of the, what do you call this, of the cold start. The way it turns on, uh, it's kind of unique because it just turns on, if that makes any sense. Like, you don't hear the ignition sound. And then uh, I just wonder how loud or how crazy it's going to be with this new exhaust from VVS. Soft reps. What I give you? So yeah, for the stock, that sounds pretty amazing. I didn't think the SA would even sound remotely that good. Ooh. So we have this full exhaust. Oh wow, it looks so pretty clean in here. So where are you gonna cut it exactly, John? Or I believe okay. it starts with right unbolt. Here. You unbolt that's, that. That's stupid though. Yeah, there's, I don't think we gotta cut anything. No, it really? like those fit this. Yeah, exactly. On. All the way up. So here, we gotta pull this, brace. these two braces out so that we can clear the exhaust out. Oh, oh snap! That thing is massive. It's, uh, it's over here. That's the one muffler. It's massive. Another muff muffler is massive, and it just goes on and on and on and on. But I think. So I think it's right here. Yeah, about right here. This is when they're gonna basically just take it off. Step one in removing the exhaust. First, take off the trim. Yeah, so these guys are the utmost professionals, especially this guy. He, he has done many of these in his past life. And <laughs> I didn't even know I had a past life. <laughs> I don't know, I dirty fuel and gravel. Is that the Accord? It's, yeah, kind of it's, it's, it's kind of funny because it's like howling. Ugh. Yeah. The problems of working on a car is that just a bunch of crap always keeps falling on you. Dang, that's a lot of like, oh, this is all the pumps for the air ride? Air suspension, yeah. The air suspension. So Jesus. we keep it outside to keep it quiet. 
Oh, that's smart. Instead of like putting so, it in the it's trunk. Still pretty quiet. Oh, so it's it's quiet, but they just for they, extra quiet. quiet yeah, I mean, this is quiet. like the S class competitor, so it's like it has to be like dead ass quiet. Okay, so quick update while we're doing this. So right now, the, my brother has a C250. A lot of parts actually came in. It's the verter valve, uh, muffler delete. Uh, I got a new front lip. Side, I'm still waiting on the side skirts and diffuser and then there's a bunch of like other stuff here and there But like that's just what's going on with the C250 just quick. Uh, what do you call this quick side note? So here we go. It's a uh, it's a huge process in uh, changing out and swapping out the exhaust uh, but It's just a lot of like unscrewing all the inner liner pretty much for, for the first part as far as I know And then they're gonna have to take off this bracket that bracket to get the exhaust in here yeah but this bad boy is gonna go in it's not so he's gonna test drive the gt4 he's always wanted one so he's going going crazy but we're going back to here so we removed the s the s8 uh exhaust right here so just to kind of give you a comparison the mufflers on this thing are absolutely massive compared to the mufflers on the vvs ones so here you also have the resonator an X pipe right there, resonator, X pipe. So the two are swapped, and there's not really like this resonator is like massive, massively huge. So right now, they lower down the car again because they have to get here in the rear trunk so that they can route so they can give power to the valve exhaust. Right? Is that right? What? You have to get you have to go in here so you can route the power to the valve exhaust. Yep. To okay. the outside. Yep. Nice. So we heard it here first from the master tech. And they're uh, <laughs> and they're uh, getting all the stuff out, like the pink helmet and all that other crap that you usually find in someone else's car. Holy bolts! What the? F bolts. What the hell is this? Nothing. Look how many nuts there are. It's the what is this for? Oh my god! Where is this? Where does these all come from? These are all. Oh, these are all the tire things. From Acura, yeah. Oh, Acura. How do they just let you collect these? When you replace uh, uh, wheel locks. Oh, they just damn, that's a lot of wheel locks. Have you ever have you ever looked at someone and wondered what's going on inside their, <laughs> inside their head? Oh, and here's the new uh, valve key for the for the exhaust. If the camera wants to kind of like focus in on it, so it's easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's not bad. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, so... Because I can shove it straight through this one. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, see? Wait, Overthinking what? it. I'm just no, I still got to route, <laughs> route one out. What are you doing? You're... Oh! So I'm going to route it through this this grommet here, mm -hmm. which is up here if you look look up here. Do you have to drill anything? No, but it's that grommet right there. Mm. Oh, there's like a hole, like a rubber hole yeah, that they right. already made and that you can just like... Yeah, so I'm going to go whoop, ahead and just put it through there. Mm. So this is official how to install your own S8 exhaust from VVS. Uh, sponsor, I mean, uh, presented to you by Garage Horch and done to, done for you by Garage Horch. Oh, yeah. Your one-stop shop for anything European, Audi, Lamborghini, Bugatti, Ferrari. <laughs> Koenigsegg, uh, McLaren, Aston Martin, <laughs> Mercedes, uh, Honda, Honda, Ford, every single brand imaginable. Hold on, I don't know what to oh, no, no, I'm to show you. All right, guys, so update report. We have the old exhaust here, and then we're slowly putting in new exhaust. What I kind of love about this S8, that there was no pretty much welding required, so technically you could do this on your own if you can get the car high enough. I definitely don't recommend that, though, just because that was incredibly heavy. It took three of us to kind of like lift it, and um, getting out all the hangers, obviously, here, there, and there. But what's nice is that, yeah, no welding. It was all just clamps that kind of clamped it up together. And then you have over here, the remainder of the pipes going in. So what they essentially did was put this part first right here, and it's all the way from the back. So look how much space I kind of freed up. I love their logo, VVS. And they're slowly putting it here. Yeah. So earlier, what Jonathan was doing was that he was feeding this wire through here. So he put it through this rubber um, seal thing here. Don't know the exact word, but now the wire will be able to attach to the valve. 
so that you can route power to it and open and close it. And the same thing over here. This one was a lot trickier because it was so much smaller. Uh, but he was able to get in there. Fellas, uh, we just have almost about everything done and it's not looking good because <laughs> <laughs> because over here it's sitting on the heat shield. Over here it's rubbing against, uh, it's almost hitting this thing. And it's, what is, what is this, John? Huh? It's literally on this thing. That is part of the uh, electronic play bar. Holy bananas, yeah, so that's, that's not good. Yeah, uh, I mean it fits, but it does not. Sh it's not not fit correctly though. So, which is the problem? Which is the problem that we're having here with this VBS exhaust? We're we're still putting it on just so that it, how, how, what it sounds like. But yeah, the fit makes just kind of kind of weird. Oh, yeah, he has a double hand, double hand action right now. So, I mean, this is the first S8 exhaust, so, uh, you know, there's always going to be quirky stuff with the first one. Shit, dude. So we'll see. You tightened these already? No, I, I can go more. I just haven't. Oh, yeah, yeah that looks like, like shit, too. Look at that thing. Like, that's, like, on there. Bolt to bolt right there. The stuff that happens at a, at a shop. <laughs> ah! Yeah, now they finally got the exhaust tips in there. But yeah, the clamp was not fitting right, and I think it looks fairly even, but it looks pretty good. Look at the tips. It's, it's cold outside right now, so my allergies are just going wild. My nose. That makes no sense. Nam is really tired. <laughs> no sense. And uh, Jonathan is about to just explode. <laughs> Vince is having a great time though, right Vince? Yep. See? Very good. Hot pot. Hot pot? Ooh! Alrighty, so um... Well, now it's working over there. It's gonna get an oil change. And um, yeah, I wanna see exactly how to do it because I've never seen the Porsche get an oil change before. Because the engine's right here. It's under that. Uh, oil cap, coolant, windshield washer is in the front. Um, so just don't know exactly where the oil filter goes and all that mumble jumbo, but excited to see it. So we finally have the GT4 up. Uh, don't worry, it's not hitting the top right there. It almost is though. But here is the exhaust. Uh, I believe it's the catback exhaust, FI. And then going back to the S8, this thing looks like it's almost uh, done diddly dandy. And then we're gonna be able to hear it for the first time um, on this channel in the entire world to hear. The first S8 exhaust that doesn't fit quite right, but it fits all right. It's close enough. Yeah, close enough. Go. So the first pieces come off. So yeah, no need to suck. It's all just a drip. Woo. FI exhaust, bro. Okay, so that's the that's the drink plug. The same one as Audi. And then where's the oil the filter? Filter's up there. The filter fish. Filter fish. Why? Right, I don't see it. The right there. Oh, it's right there. So this is why headers it, are easy to do all these bad. cars. Well, oh, because they're just like right here. Nice. But stock headers, right? Where's, yeah, stock headers. Stock where's the cats? Oh, oh cats, right cats right here. Wow, it's all like together. Yeah. So yeah, it's a cat back system. Oh, it's yeah. so small though. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but it's like, it's right there. Okay, I see it, yeah. That's good. Okay. Oh, there's a, w there's a mode that where it only opens like halfway. You know, it's a little too late for this, but I probably should have just measured how much. <laughs> okay. So we're finally going to start this up. Um, I am getting ready in position. Whenever you're ready.
still think it's quiet. Right, guys we have the s8 we just took exhaust clips and then now we're actually going to take it out for a spin to see how nice this sounds see the only thing i don't like about the s8 is that this is gloss and the gloss so it just gets dirty really fast scratched and everything. yeah it gets yeah. yeah i don't i wish they picked a different material it looks good but yeah over time it just gets dirty so fast craziness right here what the hell that's so cool what? That's pretty amazing. Is the exhaust valve open? I think so. So we have Mr. Button here. Um, let's see the different modes. If I can turn on the light. Where's the interior light? Oh, okay, so we have on, off, Sport and Sport Plus. Let's do on. So it's been on, I think. Yeah, I think so. It's pretty subtle, to be honest. It's pretty, it's pretty subtle. subtle. Let's do. Okay, off. You can definitely tell when it's off because it's like dead quiet. Let's do Sport. Sports on. Sport plus. Still don't really hear it. Let's do on. On. No. Yeah, really hard to tell. You can't really hear it that well. Is this a yay or nay for you though? Right now it is... A nay. A nay, only because yeah. I want it to be obnoxious. Same. <laughs> if you're gonna do a exhaust, like it has to be obnoxious, I feel like. But you definitely hear it louder than before. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just it sound still. Bad. It's just still quiet. Yeah. But it is an S8, so it's like, what do you want this car for? Do you want it to be obnoxious or or comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. This car definitely is comfortable. What do you guys think? Uh, would you guys get this, yay or nay? Doesn't really help that much, but for me, it would be a nay, just because uh, I can't really hear it that well. You do hear a lot more burbles though, for sure. Point seven miles per gallon. To be fair, it is louder. Louder. It's louder. It's not. It's not as loud as you want. It's not our loud. So thank you guys for watching this episode. It's been kind of everywhere, and um, more updates coming soon to the, like the C250, the GT4. We're gonna do some stuff with it tomorrow. That thing, I mean, that beast of a thing. Kind of wait to get more exhaust clips of that. Um, but yeah, the exhaust was like a little bit tricky. So hopefully, in the next iteration, they'll probably like get it fixed and everything like that. But uh, nonetheless, it was a great time. But yeah, 
So thank you guys for watching this episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.